It is uh, my pleasure to introduce today's student speaker. This is a tradition that we have in the School of Public Health, that each year the class, in this case the class of 2019, chooses a speaker to represent them. And today I want to introduce you to Taiwo Aremu, who is a physician and a researcher from Nigeria. He is also a, uh, going to receive his Master's of Public Health degree from Public Health Administration and Policy program. And during his time at the School of Public Health, he served as a student ambassador, as a student senator, and he has been a leader in the classroom as a teaching assistant. And he has also been a community health initiative consultant. We have no doubt that he will use these skills uh, in his public health education in the service of peace and unity and equity and justice. Please join me in welcoming School of Public Health student commencement speaker, Tewo Arimo. Thank you. The Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. We all took a step to be here at commencement today, and I would like to teach you how to say, take a step, don't ever stop, in my language, Yoruba. So please, you're going to join me to say this. Be ibe se. Ma se duro. One more time. Be ibe se. Ma se duro. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Dean Finnegan. Our commencement speaker, Dr. Laura Magana. University of Minnesota leaders, faculty and staff of the School of Public Health, fellow colleagues, invited guests, families, and friends. I'm happy to stand before you all this evening with a piece of my mind. To God be the glory. In 1977, my dad took a giant step. He left Nigeria for the United States to get a better education. Can you imagine traveling to a land, a place where you do not know anybody, just because you want to acquire knowledge? It's not easy, right? It must have been a giant step. When my father arrived in the United States, the semester had already started at his school, and there was no housing available. The secretary to the dean at that time, Carol Horsing, a white woman from Minnesota, invited him to live with her, her husband, and her four children in their three-bedroom house. I grew up hearing the story of his adopted parents. My dad stayed with the Horsen for about a year before moving on to the University of Wisconsin-La Crosse. In 1983, he graduated and returned to Nigeria. 36 years later, my dad, decided to take another trip to the United States, this time to see me graduate. And to see Carol once again. Please help me welcome 
as I request that my dad, my mom, the Hosen, Robert and Laurie, they're present here, and my wife, rise for recognition. Thank you. Caro is back at home. She's watching us live. And so Caro was saying hi. <laughs> the Hosen are clear proof of the humanity in diversity. To my parents and sponsors, dad and mom, Babantos, Atiyantos, Eshongo, Oluabu Kunfuni, Ami Jesu. To my best friend and wife, Tosi, thank you for always believing in me long before I took that step to be yours. Dear graduating colleagues, I grew up wanting to help people who suffer from an unfair health care system that serves mostly the rich. That led me to study medicine and surgery. Fast forward to when I became a physician about seven years ago and was able to help one patient at a time. But I had a dream, like so many of you, to help so many more people. I found the School of Public Health, like you did, as a way of realizing that dream. To come to Minnesota, I needed to take a step. I needed to leave my job, my family and friends in Nigeria just to start a different life. A life of late night studies, assignments, quizzes, and lots more than I could imagine. Here yeah, we are from far and near together in pursuit of a common goal, and that's to improve public health. With the rising trend of new diseases and disasters, the world looks up to us for solution. And as public health leaders, we must help. So to find those solutions, we need good ideas, good ideas. But if we live here with our bright ideas and never work with others to make them a reality, they will remain what they will always be, and that is good ideas. All right, what then can we do? We need to reach out make connections, and collaborate. Fellow graduates, it does not matter who you are, what you look like, or the belief you have. We are one. We are public health leaders. The person sitting next to you is human like you. So reach out. When I arrived in the United States, I realized I needed to reach out and find a mentor. I looked at the faculty at my new school, and I found one. I took a step and connected with Professor James Began. As you can see, it does not look like me. <laughs> we have different backgrounds. His beliefs are different from mine. Yet, we were willing to find the middle ground. He is a professor, no doubt. Yet, we share opinions on important issues. And he was instrumental to my first teaching assistant position. Thank you. Dr. Began.
let me emphasize, reach out. Take a step. Don't ever stop. Be ibe se, ma se duro. There are endless possibilities when we work together toward a common goal. President Abraham Lincoln rightly said, our stories may be singular, but our destiny is shared. Because time is fleeting, take a step today. Get the contact information of your colleagues and other professionals moving forward. Make an active effort to share ideas. Those who stand still run the risk of being overlooked and forgotten. You want to be remembered? You want to make the world a better place? Yeah? Then, Take a step and don't ever stop. Be I be say, ma Class of 2019, you're going to join me one more time to say that. Be I be say. Thank you and congratulations, Class of 2019.